Hey guys, some points, uh, caveats uh, to uh, my recommendation here how to use bite ball. Um, there's one thing though, uh, if you don't make backups and, and, and that makes life a lot easier, you do have to create more multi-device wallets than uh, the amount you need to sign a transaction. Eh? Some people they do like two of two, meaning they have two devices but two, two devices need to sign. That means if they lose only one device, only one wallet gets corrupted, they do something wrong there, while they can't sign any transaction anymore, they don't have a backup, the money is gone. So, it's very important to, to make sure you have more uh, devices. So, I do not recommend two of two, it's really not secure. If you want security uh, and you want that two devices need to sign, you need to have two of four. Uh, so, you have four devices. Huh? Uh, two of three is all, uh, too close already. You, you want to have two of four or two of five. That way, if, if, if you don't make backups, huh, if the certain, the, uh, you, that, that's a problem still with the Biteball wallet, it's difficult to keep all your wallets up to date and sometimes there are errors and, and, and sometimes you do some, uh, make a mistake, you lose a wallet. Uh, these things do happen still. So you need to have a lot more devices than the amount of devices that need to sign. This is very important. So that's why I recommend one out of three, for example, for low amounts of uh, bytes and black bytes. And then you have three devices, uh, and, and then you, in my opinion, don't need to make a backup, don't need to bother with making backups. But what you do have to bother with is to make sure these three wallets continue to be uh, working. And that is already a job. Huh? Um, uh, because you have updates sometimes and, and, and I want to give some recommendations there to, to keep all your wallets up to date it's quite a job. My first big uh, recommendation there is to not install a full wallet on a desktop on a laptop that does not have SSD. Uh, SSD drives are much faster than normal hard disks you should check first on your laptop or desktop if it has SSD and only then you install a full wallet. <clears throat> a full wallet is good to install, you help the network, you really are running a full DAG yourself, a full chain yourself, so, so that's cool. And there is a one big advantage <clears throat> of full wallets compared to light wallets and that, that is that they sync black bytes much faster as well. Eh? So for bytes, for normal bytes, it takes a lot longer a full wallet. But if you have an SSD drive, that's not a problem. Uh, so you can, like, in a couple of days, uh, sync with a network from zero with SSD drive, or maybe only one day. But without SSD drive, take weeks, and that's really too long. Um, but um, uh, but if you do have an SSD drive, it's a good idea actually to install a full wallet and not a light wallet because with black bytes, the full wallet is faster in syncing. Um, and then another a very important tip with um, um, and so you have all these different wallets uh, and you also have on your phone wallet and the big problem there is it is per definition a light wallet you're gonna take there uh, uh, and so uh, or I would certainly recommend a light wallet there but uh, the problem there is the singing of the black bytes um, can take long it depends of course how many black bytes you're playing with but if, if it's a lot you might find problems there and so there the, the big tip is to um, uh, to, because the problem there is that uh, um, the syncing takes long because uh, syncing of black bytes also needs processing power and, uh, and a phone has low processing power so uh, that's why it takes long um, uh, but the problem also is that the app uh, your screen always fades out after 5 to 10 minutes you can change the settings but you cannot keep it on in Android at least eh? uh, but there is a special feature where you can uh, actually uh, change your Android system into a developer uh, at developer settings. You have to look that up in Google how you do that exactly. You have to tap seven seven times on, on if you go to uh, about Android and you have build version. You tap seven times and suddenly it uh, activates developer settings, and that means that um, you suddenly get an extra menu where you can uh, uh, select in the settings 
that the 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 the, the, the screen needs to continue to be lighted on uh, when you when it's plugged in your phone. Uh, and that way the Android, uh, the app, the Byteball app continues to work if you leave it on overnight. Uh, Syncing black bytes is also a very important tip. Um, but yeah, uh, I think uh, that's it. Uh, of course it's uh, always a good thing to have backups. Uh, let's say um, uh, you have one out of three, it's good to have a backup. Um, uh, of course I'm not uh, talking against uh, having backups, but it's it's always uh, you have to always work also give advice that's economical that's practical to use and I think it's just too much you uh, having backups of all the devices um, uh, having a multi device wallet this is too much work it's already a lot of work to keep your multi device wallet on the different devices up to date also uh, backing up all these devices all the time is just too much work it's not practical but it's also in my opinion not necessary as long as, as you set it up wisely as long as you make sure there are enough devices that will continue to be active and that you don't need to be all advice devices to sign a transaction if you do that then you don't need to make backup uh, of uh, and your black bytes will comp you have copies of your black bytes on all these devices and uh, and so you never need to make a, ba a backup again huh? i just need to keep an eye on the different devices that uh, that they update and, and, and that they continue to sync so that all your black bytes are continued to be copied over all devices because if not fully synced it means it's not fully copied uh, and your black bytes are not fully available on all the other devices so if you lose then the one devices where it, they are all available and you, it's not synced yet to all the other devices they are also not there anymore eh? so it's very important to keep them uh, synced huh? that's it guys Bye.